Hi, my name is Rachel Schmidt and I come to you as an advocate for wellness from Sequoia Wellness Center in Rootstown, Ohio. Welcome back. We are going to talk about some techniques to relieve neck, back, and shoulder pain. Here's what you'll need. You might need a pillow to sit up on, two tennis balls or small yoga balls, and a yoga block. All right, first we're going to start out by um, using a couple gentle stretches to help redirect or realign the curvature in our thoracic and cervical spine. So start by sitting up on your pillow or your yoga block with your legs crossed if possible. And if not, your feet can be a little further out in front of you. Just make sure that you can hold on to your shins. We're going to take a seated cat cow. So for cat, go ahead and arch your spine backwards. Just let your arms gently pull on your shins and let your chin melt down to your chest. Take a nice deep breath and press your chest forward, hugging your shoulder blades back together. Again, pulling on your shins a little bit here and gaze up towards the ceiling. So go ahead and take your seated cat cow a couple more times. Next, we're going to do a seated side stretch. So go ahead and bring your left hand down beside you. Bring your right hand onto your hip. Open up that right shoulder, gaze up at the ceiling, and just gently lean to your left side. Inhale, breathing up. Go ahead and take it to the other side. Right hand comes down, left hand comes onto your hip. Peel open that left shoulder as you gently lean to your right side, just gaze up at the ceiling to make sure you're keeping that left shoulder peeled open. And breathe back up. Go ahead and take as many side stretches as you feel you need at this point. Next, we're going to take a gentle twist. So bringing your left palm behind you, fingers tented up on the floor, and your left hand or your right hand to your left knee. Go ahead and inhale to lift and lengthen through the spine before exhaling and twisting over your left shoulder. Inhale to gently slowly return back to center and take it to the other side. Left hand comes to the right knee. Right fingertips tent behind you. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist over your right side this time. shoulders raise up to your ears. Exhale, drop them down, letting your shoulder blades melt down your spine. This time, we're just going to gently allow the back of our head to fall back to our shoulders. Maybe gently rock from right to left. Exhale, your chin melts down to your chest. And again, you can find some gentle movement here, rocking your head from left to right. And inhale to breathe back up slowly. Um, be nice to your neck here. Don't take any fast or anxious movements. Just take time for yourself right now. Next, just allow your right ear to fall to your right shoulder. Inhale to slowly peel back up. Exhale your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale to slowly lift back up. Slowly 
slowly gaze to your right side. And keep breathing, slowly turn to your left. Bring it back to center. Now I'm going to face away from you so you can see how I pull on just gently one wrist at a time so that we can get even a deeper stretch in the side of our neck and our shoulders. So go ahead and take your arms back behind you, grabbing onto your left wrist with your right hand, and just gently pulling down, letting that left arm sink down. Allow your right ear to fall to your right shoulder. And you'll feel a deeper stretch here in the left side of the neck. Take a couple deep breaths. And then slowly bring your nose down to your right armpit and you'll feel more of a stretch in the levator scapula, the muscle that connects your shoulder blades to your cervical spine and helps raise your shoulders up. Slowly inhale to lift, release the left wrist, hold on, holding on to your right, Gently bring that right arm down and allow your left ear to fall to your left shoulder. Slowly begin to bring your nose down towards your left armpit. Hopefully everyone's smelling nice today. <laughs> So as I talked a little bit about the levator scapula today, I'm going to let you in on a little pressure point. If you can find the top of your scapula, the bony protuberance um, that you can feel is the definite top edge of your scapula, you'll feel it's kind of tender there because there's a muscle that's really tight turning and running from that superior point of your scapula connecting to your neck. So that can be a big reason for some pain in the back side of your neck. So go ahead and find the top of your scapula and just using two or three fingers, just press down on that tender spot. And again, let your left ear fall to your left shoulder when you are pressing on the top of your right scapula. This is called a pin and stretch technique. You can go ahead and let your left ear fall to your left shoulder, bringing your nose down to your left armpit and just play around with the stretch a little bit. And then slowly breathing back up, releasing your left hand. Go ahead and take your right hand and find the top of your left scapula. And once you feel like you've pinned down that levator scapula muscle, go ahead and let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Or maybe bring your nose down to your right armpit again. Find the very back of your skull 
and we're going to pin down all of these spinal muscles running up on either side of your spine, helping to keep your back straight up that are constantly pulling on the back of your head, your occipital bone here. So finding either edge or the right and left sides of that occipital bone, go ahead and press in with two or three fingers. And just let your head fall gently back into your hands here. And start to find or feel out um, the quality of these muscles and notice if they feel even or if one side feels a little bit thicker or a little bit tighter or of a little bit of a different texture on one side than the other. And just go ahead and let your head rock gently from left to right. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Or pause the video and take as much time as you need. So next, we're going to figure out how to use these tennis balls or yoga balls, which I am using um, guided yoga balls. They're a little bit harder than soft, like tennis soft balls, but um, soft balls might be better if your back is really, really sore and tender. So, so if you can imagine, on either side of your spine, you want these tennis balls to be rolling down um, the right and left side of your spinal muscles, but we're going to be laying down with them. So go ahead and place your tennis balls about four or five inches apart and gently walking your hands back behind you, start to lean onto your yoga balls. You might have to readjust them a little bit because they'll roll around on you. And then ground your forearms or your elbows and your feet firmly into your mat or your floor so that you can start to roll up and down on these yoga balls or tennis balls. <laughs> might just want to lay down on these yoga balls, place them in your preferred point of interest, whatever spot on your back it feels the best. So go ahead and just move your tennis balls right on the inner side of your shoulder blades or right on either side of the spine where you feel the most tension and you feel you will get the most benefit. And just take a few deep breaths. You might want to cross your arms over your chest, bringing each palm to either shoulder so that um, your shoulder blades help keep these tennis balls in place. So as I was talking about all of these spinal muscles running up from the pelvis all the way up the back to the top of the head where they meet at that occipital bone, um, you can even take your tennis balls, putting them on either side of your head where those spinal, mus spinal muscles meet, and just laying down and maybe positioning the tennis balls with your fingers and it will feel really good um, and just relax here. You'll have to do a little work with your hands, but the benefit you'll get from the releasing of tension in the back of your head is really phenomenal. Next, we're going to learn how to use our yoga block. <laughs> so go ahead and place your yoga block right behind you. And we're going to aim for bringing the top of our chest, or I guess, the midpoint of our chest where we have we find that thoracic vertebrae um, over this yoga block here because a lot of times when we're sitting at our desks or we're driving or we're doing any kind of work where we're sitting um, 
we tend to hunch in that thoracic vertebrae comes a little bit out of place and it starts to pull on all those spinal muscles we were talking about and cause a lot of back pain. So we're going to try and correct that thoracic curve right now by um, laying our chest over this yoga block. And you might want to bring a little pillow underneath your head here if it feels at all uncomfortable for you. So go ahead and start to lean back over your yoga block. And you might feel a couple cracks here. And if you can, bring the very crown of your head down onto the floor or your mat or your pillow. Opening up the throat here relaxing that cervical spine and just allow your arms to open out to a T. Taking a few deep breaths here, staying here as long as it feels comfortable for you will really help redirect your posture. So for my last technique I want to show you all today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the sternocleidomastoid this really long muscle in the front of your neck. If you have front neck pain, it's probably coming from all these little muscles underneath the sternocleidomastoid or the stress that the sternocleidomastoid is always under trying to keep your head up. Or um, looking down a lot, like looking down at our phones, can stress this muscle out when it's not used to being stretched up, keeping your head up. You don't want to put too much pressure on the muscle at one time because we have the carotid artery right underneath in the anterior triangle space here. So just for about two to three seconds, go ahead and um, press in an outward fashion on the sternocleidomastoid. And then go ahead and try the other side. And you can even take two or three fingers right underneath um, your occipital bone closer to your jaw and just direct pressure, pressure in an upward fashion towards the back of your head. And we'll take a little bit of pressure off this muscle as well. So it's about right here, just when you start to feel that occipital bone right behind the sternocleidomastoid. But that's all I have for you today on relieving neck, shoulder, and back pain. And I hope you found some benefit in this video. And I can't wait to see you all again on the table. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again at Sequoia Wellness Center soon. Namaste.